What's going on everyone? So I went on Instagram, asked you guys to send me your profiles and I'm going to go over and look at them and just give you guys my thoughts on them and what you could improve on and just see your accounts pretty much. And I kind of want to start a series with this. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram and every t it's at Huntrex, link in the description or right here. And also I'm going to go on there probably like once or twice a week, ask you guys for your photography accounts or just your accounts in general. And just go over them like every week, just do this. And then yeah, just so we'll like Instagram series out of this. So um, I, so right now I have like a few people that I'm looking at. Um, so let's go ahead and just hop right into it. All right, so the first person is Nicholas Armando. His ad on Instagram is Nicholas Armando, as you guys see on the screen. He has a pretty like warmer style of tone, but I see that a couple of them, they look kind of coolish warmish. It's kind of a different style. And if I keep on scrolling down, you see that's like, totally different like these are more nature shots it looks like and it has like that's actually a really weird style like I like it but it looks so weird just because like it's such a jump it's really good I like, I like this account a lot and I don't know it's like super cool um like this I mean, like this one's catching my eye dude the one at her not Redondo Beach that one with like the vibe with the clouds in the back and like the blue I don't know I just like it and he has like some grain in it it looks super nice. I really like that one. That one's super dope. And then if I keep on scrolling down, th this one's a banger. This one's dope as fuck. That one's super sick. Um, yeah, and I keep on going down. You see some on the left, like that one. Where's this one at? That the Zion National Park with that waterfall. That looks super dope. That one's super cool actually. And yeah, like, he I got some more city shots, some skateboarding, liking that one because obviously I skate. So I'm going to like that one. He looks like he goes everywhere. That's super dope. Like this Yosemite one. This one's super sick. That's really cool. But yeah, he has a whole different style. Like, I like his style. It's super cool. But, like, obviously you can tell from down here all the way up to the top, up right here. It's, like, more warmer tones, which is super dope. Like this Yosemite one at the top, like the third one. That's super dope. I like that one. Um... Shit, I'm gonna follow him, dude. That's he has a really good account, and he's super underrated. Only 1,600 followers, so uh, yeah, go follow him. That's really good. And I'm gonna have everyone's accounts in the description too, by the way. But yeah, this one's super dope. Fuck, that it's like a lot of bangers. All right, so the next one I have here is Aaron Charles. Um, it's like kind of tealish tones, I could tell already. Like more like I don't know. It's like teal and orange. He's got that teal and orange style going. Like the more I scroll down, the more I see it. But it's super sick. Let's see. Yeah, from going down here, I can tell a lot of his shots have gotten a lot better. Like, let's see. Like this Toronto one. This one's catching my eyes because of the colors on the Toronto sign. And but the the reflection looks really cool. Um, it looks like he got, he could have got a tiny bit more focus, but I think just the way he edited it, he edited it was like it made it this way. But other than that, it's super dope. I like it a lot. He's got like the marble one up on the stairs. That one's actually pretty dope. Uh, let's see this one on the flat iron. That one looks super sick. Looking through a leaf with those two buildings in front of it that or behind it. That's dope. I like that one. I like his style. But I mean, it's Instagram and you see the teal and orange style a lot, but he has like a different teal and orange style with it. So it's like, I don't know, this one's pretty cool. The water going through his hand. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can see a huge jump in his style. Like, it used to be totally different. Like, he doesn't really have a style. Like, this is him in the beginning, obviously, because I'm, uh, I'm at the beginning of his Instagram account. Um, but like... Just growing up a little bit, you see that he found his style, changed it up a little bit, and he's just still, like still trying to see his style, but or find his style. I'm trying to see why. So yeah, just like going up on it and seeing his style change is actually super dope, and that's he has a good idea where it's going. I didn't even see this one. That one's dope. I don't know if the plant's already there. If it is, then what a capture. But if not, he did a pretty good job with it on the other buildings. Like reflection, like the, the reflection on it. That's super dope. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, he posted one four hours ago. So he's pretty consistent, it looks like. That was a day ago. Yeah, it looks like he's starting to be more consistent. Because um, it looks like he's going for quality over quantity. Because I know um, being consistent and all that helps, but at the same time, it's good to have quality as well. Um, yeah. I really like this pumpkin one too. This pumpkin one's super dope. All right, so yeah, that was Aaron Charles. Go check him out. He only has 759 followers. I mean, he I can see him coming up pretty quick, like getting a lot of followers and being on the rise on the IG because he obviously has like that style. He, so yeah, this is Aaron Charles. If you guys want to go follow him, like link is in the description for him. Um, um, keep up the great work with it because like this one, especially with the, like the plain one and this like the most recent one, it's super sick. Um, this one, I think he's trying to figure out the night shot, but that's super cool with like the, I don't know if you got your flashlight or something like that, or if like one of your friends went behind the sign, took their phone light and went around the sign because that's what it looks like. Um, that's dope, but I kind of could tell you kind of need a little bit more work on your uh, nighttime photography, but other than that, all these other shots are really good. I dig them a lot. Like this one at Toronto, like, in, like on the water, that one's super dope. So, yeah. Again, that was Aaron Charles. Go check him out, and let's move on. All right, so this next one is Newfound Visuals. Um, they're more of a portrait like page, it looks like. Looks like they have some videos, so I'm gonna watch one of the videos. Edit type of thing. I think they're just like trying to see what style they use. Huh. Okay, so I think this person started off doing videos and like trying to make like a videography type of account, type of account, but they got more into portraits and all that. And I don't know. I kind of dig the style, but that I've seen it working. Like this portrait right here, this one's pretty dope. But I kind of wish. People like shot it in more portrait style, like like that style. Like this one, it's a lot better, more, you can see a lot more. But I mean, sometimes photos do end up better looking like this. So uh, yeah, just keep on working on what you're doing and it should come out pretty well in the future because I see like you have, you're confronting a style but you haven't quite found it yet. But uh, yeah, I like, like this Converse one, that one's pretty dope. But I feel like you could, I contrast it and brighten up the colors a lot more like making it more like warmer tones would make it look better. But other than that, I like it. Um, this one's pretty dope, looking through the flowers. So that one's pretty dope. Um, yeah, so let's continue. And newfound visuals, keep up the great work. All right, so this next person I have is Bailey and Clark underscore. They've followed me for a while now. I've noticed that they have. And yeah, let's just go ahead and check them out. So right off the bat, this one caught my eye. With like the cotton candy style clouds, like the all went pink in it. Um, it's not really cotton candy, but like the colors of it is super dope. Um, it's like that, it's like desaturated, but like vibrant on the clouds in the background. Like not so vibrant, but vibrant, but pretty vibrant. And it's super sick. I like that style. Um, let's see. Ooh, this one's dope. I really like this one, and I noticed that you put the fake moon because hashtag fake moon gang. Uh, it's in focus, so what you want to probably do next time is take the blur tool and blur out the moon a little bit more, so that way it's more blurry with the background, so it doesn't look like you just slapped it on there and left it. Because I know you have it more focused and closer, and like the background's all blurry, like you got the depth of field going, so you're gonna want to blur out the moon like a little bit, like as much as the background is, because it's gonna make it look a lot better. And sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes if it's like this type of shot, it's going to look a lot better. Uh, let's see. All right, so I could tell that you're... Okay, those are selfies. Um, I could tell that you went from, like, having a style a little bit and then, like, changing it up, just seeing what you're... Like, the style you're into. Um, honestly, if I were you, I'd go back to, like, the same styles, like, the vibrant colors like this one. This one's pretty dope. Like, the Nashville one, that one's super sick. I like the colors of the sky and all that. Um, yeah, you go back to that type of style, like, 
make it more vibrant colors, but that's just me personally. I like that, sty that style of vibrant colors, like this one. This one's pretty sick. Um, I'd probably bring up the shadow a tiny bit more on this one, but not a whole lot. Um, maybe like ch try to change the sky color a tiny bit, like not the blue, but like the color of the clouds. Like it's more like orangish yellow. Try, oops. Try to make it more like orangish reddish, like not a whole lot, but like more orange, I guess. But other than that, it's still pretty dope. I like where you're going with it. Um, what's this one? That one's pretty dope. I like the, like, the desaturation in that one. Um, I kind of want to see how it would be if you added more color to it. Because it might be super sick if you like made it more like a more vibrant color. But other than that, I like that style. So, yeah. It's all it's a matter of finding your style and seeing what you like the most. But yeah, I definitely see where you're going with it. Like you like that more vibrant, desaturated style. But I don't know. I mean... It's, you just gotta find your style and see how it, how you like your photos and not really go by what I say, but that's just my thoughts on it. I think that it would look pretty sick if you had more vibrant and saturated saturated colors. But other than that, yeah. Um, again, that was Bailey Clark, Bailey and Clark underscore. Um, so again, everyone's profiles are gonna be in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Um, I really, I, I like where like the type of var variety, I can't speak today, dude, it sucks, but I like the type of variety that, um, I had to view and all that, but, um, so yeah, it's all a matter of just, like, finding your style and all of that, um, I'm, I'm liking this so far, like, already on the first video that I'm doing of this, I'm liking, like, the variety of people I have to choose from and all that stuff, so again, go ahead and, uh, follow me on Instagram, and whenever I post something on my story, um, send me your account and I will go over it and check it out because this was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. What, what's fun? What's that? What, what is that? Is that even a word? Okay, so, um, apparently fun to Urban Dictionary is the definition of fun is Jew. Um, but that's the top definition for it. But there's one underneath it that's front, a run that's particularly fun. So I'm gonna go with that one. Um, just because, uh, I don't know. But um, anyways, um, yeah, I find it pretty fun doing this. So again, follow me on Instagram and send me your accounts and so I can do this more because it's a lot of fun. I said that so many times, but you get the point. So uh, yeah, also be sure to subscribe to for more videos like this and vlogs every week. I didn't really vlog this weekend because I didn't really do a whole lot, honestly. I just sat at home, played some games, went, hung out with friends for like a couple hours, and then that was it. So nothing too exciting. But other than that, uh, yeah, like the video if you did, comment down below. And if you guys have Instagram you want me to check out, also check, comment down below on your Instagram accounts, like what they are, because I will do it that way too. I'll just search you guys up. And yeah, um, other than that, I don't really know. So that's going to be it, I guess. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for this weekend or next Monday for a new vlog. And then I'm thinking about posting these up on Wednesdays instead of today because today is Monday and I was going to do a different day. I'll figure it out. But as of right now, I'll see you guys in the next video. So like I said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.